Our son, 14 male, seems to be going through something and my wife and I disagree on how to handle it. Too long did not read. Son going through something, doesn't want to speak up. I want to talk to him privately but wife thinks that boys chats are misogynistic and we should either talk to him alone or let him come to both of us on his own. We don't really know what exactly is going on but he has been off for the past recent weeks. We've tried asking him, together, what's up but he says it's nothing and that we're overreacting. We obviously don't want just leave it alone since whatever it is it's bothering him. And no, it's not just puberty. I want to sit him down and just have a chilled, open and private conversation with him alone just as men in case he need help with something of that regard or something that I may have experience with that he isn't comfortable talking about in front of his mother. To elaborate on the privacy, if it involving something that is dangerous or on the level of seriousness I'll obviously tell my wife right as she deserves to know but anything else I would like to keep private and emphasize that to him because 1. It may actually be sensitive and 2. It builds trust with me. My wife strongly disagree with both the alone conversation and it being private. She says having, boys chats, is misogynistic or rather a potential breeding ground of subliminal misogyny that reinforce negative ideas and keeping it a secret from her is just proof of that. Personally I think that's utterly insane leap but she isn't budging and says she wouldn't do that with our younger daughter without me involved. So that's basically where we're stuck at. She thinks we should just keep reassuring him that he could come to the both of us whenever he wants. What do we do? The two of you trying to have a conversation with him would probably feel like an interrogation to him. Talk to him while you're doing something, when you're driving is one of the best places to do it. It's crazy your wife won't let you speak to him privately. I say that as a mum to two teenagers. I think you need couples counseling. Your relationship dynamic might be the cause of him not wanting to open up to either of you. It doesn't sound healthy. Yikes, your wife has a really bad take on this. There is nothing wrong with, boy talk. Just like there is nothing wrong with, girl talk. I would have been embarrassed as fuck if my mom was present with the talks about sex or masturbating etc. Sometimes the same sex talks are important. Sounds like your wife just want to be a part of everything and not be left out but this far from misogyny. I feel bad for your son, sounds like a helicopter mom. I can't speak for a lot of this but your wife not letting you have a private talk with him because, it breeds subliminal misogyny, seems really manipulative and toxic. It's like she's trying to stretch the truth into some grand serious point that's just not true, purely because she wants in on whatever this is. Kids are not gonna take well to prying, and honestly, your idea is as good as any. She says having boys chats is misogynistic or rather a potential breeding ground of subliminal misogyny. Her argument is a massive insult against you. She basically said she doesn't trust you thinks you're a misogynist, and believes you're trying to indoctrinate her son and turn him against her and all women. She sounds like an absolute fruitcake. Your son is not going to take it well if you both sit him down. He's going to feel put on the spot or that he's being punished. He will be even less inclined to tell you what's going on. Your wife needs to trust you and not try to control everything. I'm a woman but your wife needs to check herself. Our girl talks, misandrist? Why is she being such a control freak? Don't listen to her on this. Talk to your son when she's not around. She has no right to dictate things like this. You are allowed to talk to your son without her supervision. You don't need to ask her permission. Tell her to butt out and go talk to a therapist about her weird need to control everything. Literally what's stopping you from having a conversation with him alone? Could be a puberty thing, could be an embarrassing, male, issue, could be any number of things he doesn't want, need his mom to know. Not only that, but I'd be pissed if I found out that my spouse thought so little of me that I couldn't have a conversation with my own child without being supervised. My best friend, 22F, wants me, 22F, to kiss her boyfriend, 27M. My best friend and her boyfriend have been dating for about two years and I've recently gotten out of a long-term relationship about six months ago. My friend has always had this weird thing about the fact that me and her boyfriend would look good together and that we have a lot in common and would be a hot couple. For me it was always a joke, however now she's insisting that she wants us to just once go on a date and maybe kiss, if we're both comfortable. I feel like it's really strange but surprisingly he's down. I'm worried my friend will change her mind and get hurt but she's been saying she wants this for over a year and she's not the jealous type. I'm a pretty conservative person and this seems crazy. Sure I do find him attractive but that's literally the only appeal in this for me. Help. Edit. Their counterpoint was that it would be fun for us to go on a fake first date, 
without any kissing just once to see how it would be. What do you guys think of that? I'm more open to that at this stage as I'm a bit out of the habit of dating and I'm good friends with her boyfriend lol. Update before I delete. I ended up calling my friend and telling her I felt uncomfortable with it all and it wasn't something I wanted just felt like I was getting sucked into it. I tried to probe into why she wanted this and she said to her it was just a joke and curiosity gone too far. She ended up agreeing with me that it isn't enough of a reason to ruin all of our relationships and that it was actually pretty crazy. Is this gonna be a huge mistake? Yes. Don't do it. It's going to be weird. All she has to do is deny the agreement and you're the scarlet woman. You're not a mannequin for her to project her fantasies on either. Yes it's going to be a huge mistake. Why would you want to be part of it? Maybe she's just angling for a threesome. It sounds like. 1. She wants to break up, and is trying to pass him over to you so she doesn't seem like the bad guy. OR. 2. She's insecure and jealous of you, so she's self-sabotaging by testing you both to see if you'll actually do it. In which case, your instincts are correct and she'll just get upset. Just say no. She has terrible boundaries and sounds unstable. Make sure you have strong boundaries and protect yourself. What could you possibly gain in this situation? Find your own dates. Don't play a role for her amusement. This is never going to end well. Don't involve yourself in your friend's weird ass relationship. She probably cheated and thinks this will absolve her. Son leaving me. Hi I have an 18 year old son and we get on brilliantly together. We have a good bond. I have noticed a problem recently where he might stay at his friend's house Friday night and I may not see him until Sunday. I know that's normal for an 18 year old. The only problem is that come Saturday morning I start to get very anxious and I keep looking out the window and checking my phone to see if he is on the way home. I am anxious all day Saturday and eventually he normally comes home Sunday. When he comes in the door my anxiety completely disappears. I am not actually worried about him as he is very streetwise and sensible. The reason I am anxious is because I keep wondering what he is doing and who he is with and what is he talking about. I feel left out is what I am trying to say. I don't like that he has all these new friends and this exciting time ahead of him. I kind of want to keep him to myself to be honest. I need help in changing my thinking as I know it's a bit skewed. Thanks. The irony being that your codependency may be pushing him away even further. I'm not sure how to help, but have you tried treating your son as a son and not as a significant other? I think you're too dependent on him and he's actually started to find some freedom, as well he should. You should really talk to a therapist because this level is dependency on him is not healthy. Something I thought about and told my own kids was. I would rather you be happy on the moon than unhappy down the street. I meant that, because if they could be happy without me I had done my job and given them what they needed in order to leave the nest. Both are married, with families living several states away but they call me and FaceTime and when I go to visit I can leave, missing them but absolutely contented about where they are in life. You're going to be fine. It does sting a little. I told my son once. Why not leave that fancy job and come home and play Minecraft and leave plates under the bed. We both laughed. He knows I miss him but I was the one person who told him to risk the solid boring job for the exciting one far away. He is working his dream. You need a therapist to guide you out of Thai feeling of why you're so attached to your son. You need to get therapy before that kid runs for the hills. My girlfriend is out cheating on me right now as I type. We have been together about 5 years. She's never been truthful or faithful. I know she's lying about where she is. Her location is somehow unavailable. She won't answer a call to tell our daughter good night. She's been defensive when I asked her what she was doing. I know feel in my gut she's back to her old ways. This is mind blowing to me. I know I have to get this go. But god damn it tough when you have kids. Fuck. I'm dumb as hell for taking her back. This one's on me. Every day we get the chance to take steps and make decisions that bring us closer to the life we actually want. It sounds like you have a very dim view of the versions of yourself that didn't place you on the best path. Sort that out later, with therapy, if you get the chance. Right now, focus on today and tomorrow's decisions. Make ones that prioritize yourself and your daughter. Best of luck. Okay, so you gave her a second chance and she blew it. Time for you to choose what is next. What do you need to do to protect your daughter? She doesn't sound like only a bad partner, but a terrible mother as well. Dude for your own good. Leave this bitch. Leave. She's never been truthful. Look, you obviously have issues that affect your ability to make good relationships decisions. 
I urge you to seek therapy to help you through your self-esteem, codependency. I am sure there is a long story to all your enabling but honestly get help. Life will be better and a you might have a good chance of sustained happiness.